We will now use a globe to show that Mecca is in fact to the northeast from North America. The visual proofs are explained by Keller in his book, Poured in a Storm. For the first visual proof, we will use a bendable ruler over a globe to connect Mecca to a city in North America. We will choose a city near Waterloo, such as Toronto. So here is our bendable ruler, and I'll proceed to connect Mecca to Toronto. Here we can see that Mecca is the desired city and from Toronto we are actually facing northeast as the ruler clearly shows. As shown in pictures of the Kaaba, Muslims surround the Kaaba in a circular fashion. Similarly, one could thus make a circle that's further away from Mecca and that circle will be centered around the Kaaba and thus people would have to face in that direction. For example, I will use medium to bigger size circles to demonstrate this. Here we have a medium sized bowl. If it's centered at Mecca, then someone who is standing here would have to face this way to reach Mecca. Similarly, someone who's standing up here would have to face this way. Now let's use a bigger circle. Here, if we place this middle right in the center, the same would hold, and someone from over here would have to face this way. Now what can be possibly big enough to show us which way we would have to face from North America? Conveniently, we can use the Southern Hemisphere as a bigger circle. Also, it is nice that the other hemisphere has an open circle so we can clearly see Mecca in the middle. Here we can see that Mecca is at the center right over here. All we have to do now is find North America and find out what direction it is to that little hole that has opened up. Here is North America and if we follow these lines of longitude that happen to be on the other hemisphere we can tell that we would have to go northeast which would take us towards Mecca. Here, the edge of the table is acting as a tower protruding from the city of Mecca. Wherever we see the end of this, or anywhere on this tower, is the way in which one would have to face, to face towards Mecca. So, from North America, one can see that in Alaska, for example, one would be facing approximately north to reach the top of that tower. If we go slightly over to say Toronto, one would have to be facing in a northeast direction to be praying towards Mecca. At Tusi determined that when the sun is directly over the Kaaba, all someone would need to do is see which way the shadow is facing and pray in the opposite direction. The sun passing over the Kaaba only happens twice a year, as at Tusi himself mentioned in Kitab al tathkira the sun passes exactly over Mecca when in the 8th degree of Gemini and the 23rd of Cancer at the time of midday there. These days are on May 28th and July 16th. To model this situation, I have decided to shine a light which is above the globe but directly over the city of Mecca. Mecca is identified by that red circle which can be seen in the distance. To help orient ourselves with this model, I will identify some locations on this globe. First of all, we are looking at the northern hemisphere. Hence, this is the North Pole. This marker is in Greenland, and thus Canada falls right below. Furthermore, as mentioned earlier, this red circle is Mecca. These two locations are unimportant, but are just used to help illustrate the point. It is clear to see that these two white markers have their shadows facing in the opposite direction of Mecca. So all one would need to do to face Mecca is face the opposite direction of the shadow. To clearly illustrate this, I will use a ruler to line up the shadow with Mecca.
Similarly, at the North Pole, if we follow the opposite direction of the shadow, we will eventually hit Mecca. Our last marker is in Greenland, and if we follow the opposite direction of the shadow, it will clearly once again take us to Mecca. If we are on the North Pole, no matter what direction we head, we are headed south. For think about it, we are on the North Pole, so we can't head north, west, or east, just south. Hence, from this North Pole, if we are headed to Mecca, we would be headed in a southern direction, similarly to that marker, which is almost on the same path. Now this becomes very tricky, because if we look at the marker in Greenland, which seems to be in the same direction towards Mecca, this is a little bit more complicated. Think about it. Does this marker in Greenland head south? Well, south is not that way anymore from Greenland. If we turn the camera to orient ourselves, we will notice that north heads to the North Pole, and hence south heads that way. So that would obviously not take us towards Mecca. Rather, from Greenland, we would have to face southeast to reach Mecca. There is a fundamental mistake that a lot of people make when using a Mercator map. I will try to illustrate a solution to this problem by adding a black marker in the shadows of the white marker at the North Pole. To head towards Mecca from the North Pole, we have already concluded that we must head south. But what about the direction from this black marker? Do we have to move south as well? Well, let's think about this. If we head south from the black marker, we would have to go in this direction, which is obviously not the shortest way towards Mecca. Instead, this black marker would have to head north, and then that would eventually head in a southern direction towards Mecca as desired. If we head south from the black marker, it actually takes us to Alaska. And hence, from Alaska, one would have to face north to face the Kaaba. However, if one looks at a Mercator map, they can easily see that from Alaska to the Kaaba would be in a southeastern direction, which is clearly not correct. Similarly, if we look at the points below the white marker in Greenland, that brings us to locations in Canada and the United States. Hence, anyone in Canada and the United States would have to face in a northeastern direction to face Mecca. This was the experiment done by Sheikh Talal Ahdab and his students. And in Montreal, they concluded that the direction of Mecca was to the northeast, not southeast. This last visual proof was completed in Montreal on July 16, 2000 by Sheikh Talal al-Ahdab and two of his students. They observed that when the sun was directly over Mecca, one would have to face towards the northeast. They wrote the following. To commence, we the undersigned traveled from Toronto to Montreal, Canada, and at 5.27 a.m. in Montreal this morning, Sunday, 16 July 2000, six minutes after sunrise, we observed the sun to the northeast by east. We measured its direction with four compasses and found the mean compass bearing of its direction was 58 degrees from true north. Before concluding this segment of the presentation, it is important to note that some scholars still hold the opinion of praying towards the southeast. One reason for this is that a normal person, without inquiring and learning about the reality of our globe, would likely not conclude that one would need to face northeast to head towards Mecca. It seems counterintuitive to face northeast on a Mercator map since Mecca seems to be to the south and east from North America. Since prayer is a compulsory aspect for every individual, it needs to be accessible to everyone and thus most people, by looking at a Mercator map, would naturally face towards the southeast. In the late 1990s, there was a fatwa, or religious ruling, from Al-Azhar in Egypt a 40-member body of major scholars at the Islamic Research Academy of Al-Azhar in conjunction with engineers, 
geographers and astronomers was formed to formally find a result to this problem. It was concluded that the northeast was the general direction from North America. In this fatwa they declared that all Muslims who learn about it must face towards the northeast in prayer. However, they mentioned that the prayer of whoever prayed towards any other direction out of personal reason in the past before learning of this fatwa is legally valid. This presentation will be concluded with a mathematical proof using spherical astronomy that the direction of the Kaaba from most places in North America is in fact to the northeast.